We start our screen with an Excel spreadsheet that contains the data storage location, sample ID, which is the data set name, experiment number, experiment type, and the position of the sample for which the data in each line should be measured. After opening Icon NMR, we can import the spreadsheet into the setup window. From the import dialog, we can choose which columns should be imported and which columns contain the sample position. After importing the Excel spreadsheet, we can check if all information has been imported correctly and assigned to the right holder position. This is the dataset storage location, this is the dataset and the experiment number, and this is the experiment type. Now we can start our run by clicking on start and entering the correct holder position to start with. After our screening data have been measured, we navigate to the folder where we have our screening experiments, open one screening experiment, then we can open the FBS analysis tool from the analysis menu. Then a dialog will open if we open a screening project for the first time where we have to choose the cocktail definition file. We have to choose uh, the folder with the reference 1D spectra of the ligands. And optionally, we can choose a folder where blank experiments are located. These are experiments um, of the mixture, but without protein present. Here we can choose the spec types. We can add our own. This is a display layout, which spectra should appear um, in the display. This is the report layout. And here we can choose uh, display regions. This is also optionally, uh, usually a aromatic and a aliphatic region is chosen and we can choose the boundaries of these regions and we have shortcuts in the display that allow us to jump between these regions. After clicking on OK, the multi-display of our screening project will be generated and the project table will be opened. The project table is a representation of the cocktails definition file, which we have chosen in the setup menu. The cocktails file is a semicolon separated CSV file that can be viewed in Excel. On the left hand side we have the mixtures and on the right hand side the compounds that are pooled in the mixture. For each mixture a data set with the mixture name is measured in which all the screening data are saved. For each compound in the library, a 1D proton spectrum should be measured that should be saved in a dataset with the unique compound ID as the name. When analyzing screening data, we can annotate on several levels. So if we select the mixture itself, it will be shown there and we can annotate the mixture. For example, if something is binding in this mixture. Now if we click on a compound, we will see the structure if the mole file has been um, stored with the reference 1D data. Now we can use the shortcuts to jump between display regions, for example the aromatic region. We can select individual spectra and scale them by using the mouse wheel. When selecting a ligand, we can annotate a 
um, experiment specific state for example here we have an effect in the std spectrum and we also have an effect in the water loxy spectrum and if we think that uh, this specific ligand is binding then we can also annotate this as an overall status for this ligand Okay, now we jump to mixture one and uh, we want to see the full spectrum for this ligand here. Um, we are interested in the aliphatic region, so we're jumping to the aliphatic region and check the STD spectrum and the water loxy spectrum for effects, but uh, we can't really see any effect for this ligand there, so we make an annotation. And here the annotation would be no effect in STD and there would be no effect in uh, water loxy and the overall status would be not binding. Reprocessing of uh, screening spectra is really simple from within the tool. We select the spectrum, right click and then we can follow the link to the original spectrum. And then we can for example adjust the phase and save what we have um, changed in the spectrum and when we go back to our mixture the reprocessed spectrum will be automatically updated. When we are done analyzing we can close the project by closing the project table. All our modifications have been stored in a project file that is in the data folder and we can reopen the project by drag and drop of this project file. Now we want to add a customized spectra type to our screening project. So first we open the screening project and then we navigate to the spectra that we want to add or spectra type. In this case it's the blank spectra. These are spectra of mixtures but without the protein. So now right click in the data panel we can add a data folder. Now in this data folder we open from mixture 1 for example this uh, blank spectrum and we check which spec type we have used to measure the spectrum. This is in the processing parameters. In the status processing parameters there is the spec type. In this case it is a screen STD blank. Now we go back to the project table and go to spec types. Now we can add our own spec type. In the left side we add exactly the same spec type as we have used when we acquired the data. So this would be screen std underscore blank and on the right hand side we can choose a visible name of our choice. After clicking OK the spectrum will not yet appear in our display because we also have to add it to the spectra display layout. So this is what we do now. Now from the pull down menu we add the new spec type to the display layout. Now we add it to the bottom and after clicking OK and uh, refreshing the view we will see that it will appear at the bottom of our display. Okay, now we want to change the display layout of our screening project. So we start a project, then we open the configuration menu and go to display layout. Now we want to have the screen SCD on top and underneath the blank spectrum. This is the screening spectrum of the mixture without the protein and we want to remove the T2 and T1 raw um, spectra so that we don't see them anymore on our screen. Once we refresh the view, we can see that now T2, T1 raw have disappeared. When we click the button that is indicated with a red arrow, then we change our display layout. We don't see all um, reference 1D spectra of the compounds in the mixture anymore, but we see um, one ligand at a time. And we can use the arrows to click through the compound spectra 
in the mixture. Now we zoom into the aromatic region for the binding ligand and we can um, compare it with the STD spectrum and check which, um, if, which signals appear in the STD spectrum. Finally, we want to make a screening report with our results. Um, so we can click on the report button in the project table and we can choose a name for our screening report. We can also choose what information we want to export, uh, binding ligands only or all ligands. And then we choose to open the screening report and then the Excel table will be created. The report layout can be changed in the configuration menu in which each line represents one column in the report where we can choose a header information and which information should go in this column. This should uh, be suitable for all uh, possible uh, LIMP systems or should be uh, compatible with all possible LIMP systems. In the screening report we can see who has um, annotated um, the ligand and at which time and date. So there's a time and date stamp. There's a um, picture of the ligand and information where the data are stored. We very much hope that this tool will be useful for you and please contact us if you have any questions under fps at